So hello boys, how's it going? Welcome to a new episode with our National Predators. Today we have ourselves um, our back to back. So signed a bunch of guys' contracts. Um, the Brinkett, I signed to an 8375, I believe, for six years. McCabe five by four, something like that. Svechkov, I signed to an eight-year deal. Uh, Yossi, haven't signed yet. Hunt, eight years, I believe. Rathbone, eight, six. And then other than that, it's uh, mostly lower tier prospects and Michael Mace's brother. But um, anyways, uh, let's keep this moving. Let's get all the way up to the draft. So the salary cap has come out for next year. Uh, let's take a look at what EOC wants. So he's still an 80. We're going to wait for his re uh, regression to go down or to see if he retires. Because uh, if he wins two Stanley Cups, I think that's a pretty successful career. He knows he's not getting paid $9 million again. And um, we got to see who rejected our contract offer. So, team management, let's have a look. So, we have seven contracts ending soon. All expiring. So, we have Svechkov. He doesn't want the eight years. We will give him his two year deal at 1.8. Uh, Roman Yossi, Damon Hunt doesn't want his contract either. Uh, we'll give him 1.55. We'll literally give him what he wants for eight years because that will be a sick contract in about six. Rathbone, not so hot on you. Uh, other than that, those guys can all go. And in that, we're fine. We're going to wait for Yossi just to see if he retires. If he doesn't, uh, we'll probably sign him back. So St. Louis via Tampa Bay gets number one. Uh, Winnipeg via the Islanders gets uh, the last selection. Um for a lottery position. Here is your shining moment. I don't see Nashville there, so I do not think Roman Yossi has retired. Roman Yossi calls it quits after 1,100 games. And we are freed of $9 million. Uh, Make that $10.7 million we have just freed up. Um, Yossi, he's a living legend, but... I'm glad I got him not just one, but two Stanley Cups. I'm glad he was able to hang it up and call it a successful career. Nonetheless, we have our draft um, here. Let's see what we can do with our selection, see if we can move it up. I don't think we want to, though. Uh, we might just want to trade it away. Let's, let's just him to pick number 32. I'm not interested in keeping this. Let's uh, offer trade. Let's see if we can move number 32 to another team. It has actually very good value. Um, Khrushchev is on the block. What's he looking like? $10 million for three years. We have Christian Dvorak on a one year. Uh, let's just look through teams, see what uh, see what type of values we have. Who's that? Matthew Kachuk at 30 years old, eh? Not even close. Let's just see if we can get any team's future first. Like Washington, that would be a sick first next year. Never mind. Yeah, let's see if we can trade with Colorado. First for first. They don't want a first this year for a first next year. We'll also give you a sixth round pick. Trade accepted. So we now potentially have a higher pick for next year. Let's take a look at number 64, see if we can turn that into anything. Uh, potentially a high-ranking goaltender, something of that nature. So here we go. We have a few medium elites. Goalie, goalie. This one is a gem, so I am going to sign him. He's probably a low elite, I'm assuming. How good is this sucker? Medium starter. Not, not really the best, but... We're going to keep moving, signing these high-ranking um, goaltenders. So we have a right defenseman here, supposed to go 118. Let's just sign him. Medium elite defenseman. He's an offensive defenseman. You'll love to see it. Let's just keep uh, keep going with this strategy. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. It is the way of the road. Round three. We only have two more rounds of selections. Medium top, medium seventh defenseman. That is unfortunate. We're gonna leave the other two, and uh, just see what we get. Really, 
So, yeah, just Biega as a right winger, medium top nine. That's really not that bad for round four. Um, you can get that at the, in the middle of uh, round one. So I'm actually pretty happy with that one. Dansk, left defenseman. Uh, we'll see what he is, but let's see the entire draft and get this over with. Let's get into the resign phase. I will see you guys there. So we have NHL goalie coach expiring. Let's uh, let's get him back. I believe we had an AHL coaching retirement. Let's get um, some of these guys back. So scouts. I don't think any. Oh, a few scouts expired. We have Russia. We have a C scout in Russia. C, C scout in the WHL. Extra Liga. I believe that was it, just those three. Good for them. So. Hanzik. Let's uh, go to coaching staff and try to sign that head coach again. Seven hundred K. Bang oh bang oh bang oh. Okay, so the coach signs. Uh, we have fourteen million dollars in cap space and no one to re-sign. So uh, I think you guys know where I'm going with this one. We're getting a defenseman on a one year. I'm hoping. The one I want is available. Let's take a look here and see. He's not. Okay. So we can get Edvinson. We can get Pedersen. We're going to see what our defensive core looks like after losing um, Mr. Yossi. But Yossi was essentially just the top six piece. We have Misa, Forsberg, Slavin, Natchez. Defense. So we're gonna have McCabe go way down this year. Moeller is gonna play top four, so I might trade McCabe's five mil and pick up a younger defenseman. Uh, we have Neil Pionk playing top six minutes. How many years left does he have on his contract? I will take a look at that in just a few seconds. Uh, maybe we trade away McCabe and Pionk and then pick up two other defensemen. Get someone to replace that spot and someone to replace this spot. And then have Carson Lambos play with him. Uh, we'll see how old these guys are first, though. Um, I also need to see how long Pionk's deal is and how much it is. Because if, he, if he's making like 5 mil, uh, he's likely gone. Uh, defenseman. So Pionk. If 5 mil for one year, I'm fine with that. When his contract uh, ends, it's going to go to Michael Misa. Moller, we still have for another two years, so that is somewhat exciting. Uh, free agents. Let's sign a few one-year deals. So Marcus Pedersen, 32, and Edmondson is 25. Siegenthaler, I think I will sign him to a one-year at uh, 7 mil. So yeah, we pick up Siegenthaler for $7 million for this year. Um, maybe we let McCabe... No, no, no. That's too high of a contract. 32-year-old Marcus Patterson. He's likely going to drop to an 82. One year at 6.6. 6.7, that is all I will offer you. And we will do what I said and trade away. Uh, McCabe. So I loved having McCabe on this team. He definitely helped this team uh, with those two Stanley Cups. But with Gweet coming up, uh, I'd rather just some one-year options. And Tapper is a good value defenseman. Very solid. I'm excited for him. But, uh, yeah, let's get rid of McCabe. Two years left at 4 2 five. Oh, that's really not the worst. Okay, we'll see if they accept first. Because we have the money for it. Uh, it's just a matter of... Uh, if, if both sign, I'll consider making a move with McCabe. But... Patterson accepts. He's the one I didn't think was going to accept. And Siegenthaler accepts. So we'll get up to the start of the year, take a look at our lineups, and then decide there. Because one of them is just awful in the postseason. I might as well keep McCabe for this year. Uh, throw him on the third pairing. Because he's only got two years. 
then again, that saves four million for this off season. We'll see. We'll see what happens, boys. And we get an extra three years out of Siegenthaler. Okay, that probably works. Yeah, I think I'm going with the original plan of trading him. I will see you guys at the start of the year. Let's go. Start of the year. Uh, this is the lineup. Uh, Joaquin Kemmel likely going to take Tommy Novak's spot. Svechkov, Rox, Roslovic, and Beckman. Who's scratched for the offense? Uh, we have Pedersen and we have Carson Lambos down to 75. So this defensive core looks pretty ridiculous. I don't even know why Neil Pionk is considered to be up there. But uh, Slavin and Moeller are our guys. Then we're just going to run it like this. McCabe and Pionk down there. Uh, Pedersen, what are you looking like? What's... Uh, Went way down and overall, he's a 25 medium top four defenseman. Uh, I don't think we're going to get Carson Lambos into the squad this year, even if we trade Jake McCabe for Marcus Pedersen. That is an 83 for an 82. Um, okay, we'll wait. I'm going to decide here. I'm going to take a minute, take a look, and uh, we'll see if we just want to move him midway through the year for half retention. Potentially the second round pick. And uh, make it work. But uh, we have the cap space for him right now. Why not keep him? Um, but yeah. Let's get into the season. And uh, we're looking solid. So I'm looking for a three-peat from this team. We're going to see if it happens. Let's get into it. Okay, boys. So I was looking over the roster. And I realized there was a few key issues. So... Uh, Joel Inglis, medium league defenseman. He's six foot one, good body type. Uh, 193. Looks like he'd be a great uh, defenseman. He's not going to be a defensive defenseman. If he scores light points on that, that's going to be unfortunate. But I'm going to give up Tyler Bertuzzi as well as Carson Lambos. Reasoning. So a defenseman, Lambos is pretty simple. Um, in terms of overall, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just a bunch. Um, Guit, we're going to leave down in the AHL for another year just so we keep him on his rookie deal for a few more years. Um, and this guy we're going to sign right away. Also, uh, we have another prospect down here. Tapper. Tapper we're going to sign this year. Uh, we're going to get him going here so we can sign him to a cheap deal hopefully in two years. Uh, we're also going to be signing Inglis in, uh, right now, actually. He's going to be the time. So we'll send those two guys over for him, but we also want a third round pick back in exchange. So if that can go through, I'm, uh, I'm rather happy about that. So it's not too far off. We can give up a seventh. I'll be happy with this deal. Trade rejected. It's not sufficient at all. I'll give a fifth to move up to a third. It is not too far off. I'd honestly give a sixth and a seventh. There you go. No? Okay. So I'll give us a fourth. And we'll go as high as a 7th. Okay, they're not playing ball here, so we'll just do a 2 for 1. <laughs> I think if you uh, over-offer, they're going to say no more frequently. Uh, a 5th round pick, then. <laughs> oh, they're really, yeah, no. Let's, uh, let's wait 2 days on that trade. Uh, we're going to simulate up to the start of the year. I'm going to make that trade. Um, we, I'll include a sixth, and we'll see if it's still off. But I just want to see if this is possible, or if they just want uh, the right amount of value in exchange. So Jack Roslovic, Adam Beckman, Stevenson. Uh, we have Michael Misa. A fifth and a sixth for a fourth and Haynes. No, thank you. Sounds like an awful trade. Two fourths for a second. What? You think Adam Goddad is worth that, do you? Third or fifth paling. Paling might be worth that, actually. But paling's an absolute stud. Asplund and a fifth for Haynes and a third. No, thank you. I'm going to keep what I got. So, nonetheless, team is looking pretty good. We're going to make our trade now, just after the salary cap compliance and the player on waivers. Um, thing shows up. So, let's post a trade to the Boston Bruins. So, Inglis, there you go, Tyler Bertuzzi. 
Carson Lambos. I'm getting rid of Tyler Bertuzzi simply because he's 33 and he's on a one year. He's going to want 5.2 million. I do not see us being able to pay him $5 million, especially with Mises' contract coming out. Uh, Lambos can also go. And do we have any goalies? No. Ulf Stevenson might be our backup next year, though. We'll have to see. Uh, what was his extension contract? Three years at 1625. That's really not the worst. Yeah, okay, let's make that trade. Uh, Bertuzzi. Give up Lambos. And we'll give up like a low AHL player, like literally one of our, our 14th defensemen or something. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I'm fine with getting rid of an OG. Yeah, let's just add in those two prospects. There you go. Actually, let's add in the one. And that will not go through, so I'll add in a third as well. Let's do a fifth, just like we said before. Just a touch. So we're giving up an extra prospect. We're giving up a fifth from this year and a seventh from next year. Trade goes through. So we're picking up our young defenseman of the future. Should be a good one. Now, I'll show you guys why I gave up those two guys. Um, I actually have one more trade to make, I do believe. Let me have a look. So Parsonen is now up. Um, do I want to play Beckman up there? Do I want to play? Let's play Svechkov on the third. I'm going to play Kemmel on the second. And it's just going to run like this. Um, Tommy Novak, 31 years old. He's looking pretty good. Parson and Roslovic. Do I want to give up Jack Roslovic? What did we sign him to? Let's take a look at that. Because if he wants, if he's above 2 million, I think I'm getting rid of him. Uh, if not, I think Beckman might be the guy going. We'll see his contract, though. So Roslovic, after this year, he's been one and a half or two years. That's really not that bad. Beckman's on a 9-2, but we're not getting rid of Beckman. So, Hunt, Parsonen. I can get rid of Parsonen, Liam Foody, Beckman, Roslovic. Um, let's take a look here. Who is that uh, other forward? Svechkov. So, yeah, instead of that, we're going to do some roster moves. Uh, it's going to make the HL team a little worse, but Luke Mises is going to then get some first-line minutes. So we're going to call up Liam Foody. That'll put us up to 20 in the NHL. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's one extra defenseman, meaning we have one extra forward as well, which is Liam Foody. Okay, that works out. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Let's go back to the NHL, Nashville Predators. So I have done a lot of prep for this season, uh, taking a look at what we need. Head coach for lines, and I'm fine with these, just with Svechkov on the third. I'm going to have to watch that throughout the season. But um, Moller's playing first line minutes. Bango, Pionk. Obviously, I'm fine with those. Yeah, that works. And then that means we have a left defenseman that needs to go. Marcus Pedersen is going to be our guy leaving. Um, but we're going to sim a month with him. We got rid of Carson Lambos already. Let's see how this team does. So Michael Misa, we also signed you a $10 million contract. I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but we got it done. Let's go through a month. Starting out 3-0 without Tyler, better 2-Z. Make that 4-0-1, 5-0-1. Akil Thomas in a 7th, no thank you. Uh, Yaroslav Askarov, injured with post-concussion syndrome. Meaning we're calling up an HL Tendi, off Stevenson. I'm going to leave him down there. We're going to call up Yatkola, and then Von Arks could be the backup down there. Um... Edit NHL lines. 
That is not because Yakola is more preferable in the NHL. It's because I'd rather Ulf Stevenson get minutes in the AHL. Um, let's put Mackenzie Blackwood here. Substitute. And Yatkola goes in at the backup role. Oh, the HL team is. There you go. And then Von Arks. There we are. Golden. So let's get rid of this. Let's see what the record is. So 4 2 and 1 down the HL. Solid. If we could switch to NHL, that would be nice. 7 1 and 1. Let's get to the end of the month. 3 1 win. There's a third in Zemgis Girgensons for a second. No thanks. Yeah, we'll run best lines for a bit, boys. Like, it's the way of the road. If we start losing a lot, then I'll then I'll start to get on it. But like we're 11, 12, 3, and 2. There's our fourth loss of the year against the team we have beaten in the past. We'll start two finals. Uh there you go. I'll I'll edit lines when Askroff's back. So, there you go. Uh, head coach preferred lines. Gemmel's on the second. Svechkov can play with Domi and Roslovic. Yeah, fine with that. In net, Askarov, Blackwood. And on defense, I know I need to edit that. Uh, 285's on the second. Muller can get his top two minutes. Hannafin and Siegenthaler move up. And then we go to... Uh, roster moves and send down Yatkola again. Then we will edit the lines. Lots to do when there's a goalie injury. I hope he does not get injured. Do not lose morale for getting sent down, buddy. AHL salute Misa now already up to an 80. So we're starting to develop him a little better. Had him playing third line minutes there on the AHL squad. Now we made a trade to get him first line minutes. Next, another guy I'm probably going to want to... Uh, Get up here soon. He's on 1.1 for the next five. That is a sick contract. Damon Hunt. I've signed eight years for 1.5. That's going to be probably sick in uh, about four years. Olsen, uh, kind of a flunk of a deal, but 1.2 million. You can't really get upset at that. Uh, Winnipeg for a third and a fourth for Haynes in a second. That does not make sense to me. But nonetheless, the AHL team has lost. Locker room chemistry. Luke Niso with four. 14 points in 17 games, I think that said. Okay, let's continue. 17, 4, and 2. This team is playing solid. We'll do one more month, and then we'll do a deep dive into our stats and see what we need. Uh, Alex Brinkett has returned. Pretty sure NHL lines are pretty smooth. I think we have one more injury, but you two switch. That's fine. Moeller up to the top two. McGabe. I'm fine with giving Pionk the power play time and stuff too, just because uh, Moeller, he's a defensive defenseman. You can't really expect him to be an absolute burn burner um, power play force, but that kind of made no sense, but we're here for it. The Zook, 80 overall, getting nine points in 23 games. Good for you. Uh, it's not for me, though. It is not for me. Philadelphia Flyers have fired their coach. Apparently we have received one of the best coaches in the league. Uh, we got him two years ago, I think. And we won two Stanley Cups since his arrival. Jesse Kiskinen. There's a 3-2 win. There's a 4-1 win. Come on. Oh my goodness, we're on a run. Let's keep this going. I like winning. <laughs> I definitely like winning a lot more than I like losing. So, Yuso Parson and injured. Cam Fowler and Leo Carlson, no thanks. I think it's Leo. I don't know. Leon, maybe? Who knows? It's something like that. Anyways, we're 54 points. That tops the league by four. And we have the least amount of games played out of any of those teams. Um... Beautiful. We're doing very good this year. Let's take a look at our goal scoring and goals against uh, point totals as well. Uh, we'll look at point totals first. See, I'd say this team should score a lot. In 34 games, we've got 38, 34, 32, 
from the first line. Kemmel is on the second and sometimes the third, and he's putting up 28 points. I'm hoping he develops good. If he becomes a second line player, 2.4 million, I'm going to be hyped. Marty Natchez, when does that contract end? Oh, you're on a good contract now. Tommy Novak, I know you're on a good contract. Four, four more years. And yeah, we got you till you're 35 to bring it. I think you're around eight. Yeah, you're on a sick contract too. This team is built different. <laughs> uh, Blackwood has more stats than Askarov because of the injury. I actually, yeah, that's fine. And next up, we look at the league overall for goals for and such. Only other time we'll check this is at the end of the year. Goals for per game. We top our division by .01, I believe that is. 3-5-9. Yeah, we're definitely not first in that. 4-5. This is the first time we're top five, though, in goals for per game. Goals against per game. Yeah, I can see why Philly fired their coach. 4-2-6. Chicago has gone to the depths after they had to pay their players. That is sad for them. Winnipeg's down there. Golden Knights, Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, we top the league. And it's not even close. That is with Mackenzie Blackwood playing 18 games. Just saying. 18 out of 34. Uh, power play goals against 14. Our penalty kill percentage is... Middle of the pack. Last 10. We're top. Tied with Montreal and Toronto. Let's keep this up, boys. I'm liking how this team rolls. Let's get up to game number 64 and the trade deadline where we might make a move. Um, we're going to trade Edmondson here, though. He is a guy that needs to go for our cap situation. So, Guit Edmondson. It's probably... Oh. Patterson, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. It's Patterson's $7 million contract can go to a Western Conference team. Or they will probably re-sign him. I won't even lie. Huh. Let me look around the league. Give me a second, boys. Absolute beauty. Eric Chung is going to be picked up in this move. Um, he's the youngest on the board. I'm not retaining $2 million, So I will take $2 million back. And then I will trade that player off right away. What do you guys got that is making money that does not deserve $2 million? Uh... Adam Larson on a five milli. Would uh, Connor Murphy, would he put this through? Still no. Okay. So Adam Larson, I can't be taking it from Minnesota. No. No, we'll keep looking through, boys. We will keep looking through. I'm looking for a top six forward prospect. Simple as that. Okay, I love scrolling through, don't you? This is low. Nope, Toronto ain't happening. I'm not giving them a solid defenseman. Actually, I'd give them Larson for a year. For a forward that might terrorize us in a few years. Um, you know what, let's just get rid of him, boys. Let's find a team that can afford his hit as well as a team that wants him. Uh, we'll trade him off for picks. I might be able to do more with the picks anyways. Uh, three picks for him. Don't think that's going to happen. Get rid of the fifth. A fourth and a seventh for Marks Pedersen. A fourth round pick for Marks Pedersen. There you go. That's fine. I'm fine with that deal. Multiple morale changes. Sure. Do your thing. Get upset. A quality player or seventh defenseman. Hey, boys. If we start playing bad because of that, I'm going to be a little cheesed, but we're going to be all right. AHL. Mises got 20 points in 28 games. He definitely fell off a little bit, but can't get mad at the kid. Cannot get mad at the kid. Uh, Uriel. I thought it was Ulf. Uriel. What a name on our prospect goaltender. Okay, all we can do is keep this up. Keep things moving and uh, hope for the best. Up to the trade deadline where we might make a big splash for a one-year player. Alex Brinkett injured with an injured shoulder, so he is injury prone this year. Uh, best line set is fine. Taylor Radish and a third. We're going to pass on that. 
Uh, there's another win. Let's keep winning. Just keep winning. See, I'm fine losing like every few games now that we're 20 wins over 500. I, it's just not preferable to lose three in a row. There you go, boys. Let's win three in a row now. Okay, maybe we maybe that contract uh, uh, created some issues on the roster. Uh, you calm down, Joaquin Kemmel. We got we got things to do here. So six nothing win, four three win. Still 20 wins above 500, so we must be stalling out, but I'm fine with stalling out at this point in the season. Uh, once we get up to like 85 points, which is three more wins, which we could attain before the trade deadline, uh, still, there you go. We win this game, and we are at 85 points, and essentially a lock for the playoffs. We have 20 games left, boys. It's, it's just not, not likely for us to lose. So we have Cole Perfetti we could pick up. What's he looking like? He's a 27-year-old. Could play second-line minutes. I'd prefer to pick up an elite defenseman, but there is none available. No one wants to trade their defenseman, and I understand why. Uh, Heedle. Yeah, literally not a defenseman. Cates, what? Left wing? Timothy Liljegren. We get offered Gabe Velarde in a fourth for two seconds and Vaughn Arks. This could be a move. $4 million. We're only paying them two. I'm not... We'll, we'll look at a, a different deal. Because um, I, I could pick up a third-line winger. Like $6.6 .6 I'm okay. I'm not getting any guys with anything over a year. Yeah, let's go for one of the top guys here. I'm done playing. Let's get a third-liner that's an absolute stud. Andre Burkowski, how many years left on him? Two years at $8 million. Cole Perfetti, no trades found. What do they want? They want a top two defenseman. So, how overall is Gabe Velarde? You know what? Gabe Velarde wouldn't be the worst pickup. Two seconds and days. I'm down for it. So we're, we're just making that move. Right away, we might make another. Bring Patty Kane in. Okay, maybe not. Just bring everyone in, boys. We're getting this whole this whole board here. What do we got? We got a nine million dollar Sean Monahan. You know what, boys? It's late in his career, but Lucas Reichel, we might be able to revitalize him. A sixth and seventh round pick for the kid. And that's going to be it for our trade deadline. We traded two seconds. We traded a sixth and a seventh. Uh, Matias Maselli for two seconds. Uh, Black and E. Taves for Timo Meyer, Tyler Toffoli, a fourth and a fifth. Heedle for a second and a third. Really not the worst deal. Jordan Greenway, what are you looking like? No. We're okay. But nonetheless, uh, currently at 83 points. Kyle Connor having a stellar season. But uh, Kyle, not Kyle Connor. Um, us in Winnipeg he seemed to be forming an all right relationship. Gabe Velarde now going to slot in on the third line center role, playing with Tommy Novak and Domi. Reichel's going to play with Risto and Knack. Must have some injuries. Svechkov, Beckman, and Foodie are all scratched. So I'm going to send down Foodie. I'd be shocked if he didn't get picked up. Uh, Beckman, we're going to send down him, and we're going to send down uh, Foodie. If Liam Foodie doesn't get picked up, I'll be surprised. On that level of a contract for the next four years. So forwards, uh, Foodie and Beckman go down to the HL. Beckman, I thought he was a two-way. It's fine. Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. He was on a sick contract. Shiza. Shiza. Okay. We're going to have to live with it, boys. Uh, we're going to have to learn from our mistakes and keep this rolling. Let's get up to the end of the year. 
Dang, I, was, I just wanted to give him some playing minutes in the AHL. That that stinks. I'm actually quite upset about that. 850k for the next eight years. Tampa Bay now has that. You so personin. So Gabe Lardy wants to talk to me. Uh, I don't care. You know what? You just got to show up in the playoffs. Yeah, perfect. Let's get back to the simulation there. Camel, you can't be doing this. Okay? Thank you. Let's get back in the simulation. Okay, so since that, we are 3-2. Three and two. Three and three, three and four, four and four, five and four, six and four, seven and four. Yes, I will keep annoying you guys. It's the way of the road, and we are here for it. Eight and four. Don't know what that was. Eight and five, eight, nine and five, ten and five, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. We might get 115 points. Listen, you calm down over there, Domes. You're 35, okay? Domes, if you come back here again, I swear, we're going to have some problems. Okay. Oh, I, I was... Camel and Domey, they just won't stop this year. Okay. Yeah, no, sure. You'll play more than 1440. If you uh, stop talking, I really do not care if he plays more than 1440. You do your thing. Overtime loss, we finished with 114. That's good for a President's Trophy. 55 win, Nashville Predators. Let's take a look at the team stats and do some contracts before we end off this episode. But uh, going into the playoffs, these are what our lines are looking like. So we do not have to bring Cat. Um, head coach for lines. Uh, we're running just like this. Nax, Fetchkov, Lucas, Reichel. Uh, on defense, what do we got? Slavin is down to an 87. That is scary. Um, the cave goes down just like that. Siegenthaler's probably going to be on this team for the next three years. If I can sign him to a reasonable deal. Hannafin is going to be here till he's 35. Goalies here, Slot Askrov. What are you on? Six by seven. That's, that's not bad. Here till, here till he's 32. Kenzie Blackwood. Okay, let's do a resigns and then I'll show you guys the team stats. Okay, so for a 6 1 5 0 oh, for one year, uh, we're going to wait on him, actually. So for next year, we got $26 million in cap to spend. So four years, that's likely what I was going to give you. Five, eight, oh, oh. Uh, four, nine, five, oh. That's actually a sick contract for Siegenthaler. Uh, Gabe Velarde, we're going to see if we can bring it. Oh, he wants the same money. He can come back then. Four, nine, five, oh. Uh, he wants 4250. Oh. Uh, 4225, sorry, that's what I meant. Um, quality. Pionk. What are you on? You're not getting that. Get out of here. Lucas Reichel's a fourth liner. You want that? You might have to go too. Yeah, I'll just pay a fourth liner. Four milli. I mean, I'll give him a year at that just so I can trade him at the draft, but. Uh, 2775. I don't think I'm cool with that. We'll see what our cap situation is. Gweet is coming back. Uh, we also have to sign all of our unsigned rookies this year. Like I said, I was going to. Rathbone, you know you're an HL defenseman, right? Del Gazo, Golden. The boys are getting it. The boys are getting it here. My bad for button mashing here, but um, oh, honestly, there's nothing, nothing you're gonna do better here. I'm not hassling these boys for an extra 500k for just for an extra 50k. Sorry. Okay. So 
So McCarron's going to be retiring here. Absolute beaut. So Pionk might be the same thing, but we're going to see. Um, unsigned. Okay, so we're going to sign our two medium elites that are low down here. Uh, there's a reason I'm doing this as well. So he's going to be around a 72 when we sign him to his next contract. So we might be able to beat him for eight years at cheap. Um, where's the other guy? What's happening? Okay, Inglis is signed. Perfect. Three years. Tapper signed for three years. That is beautiful. Okay. Uh, so Gweet is already an 82, which is why I'm going to keep him there. Because he's going to be good for the next three years. Uh, Moeller, we're going to have to re-sign next year. Where's Moeller? Uh, this, nope. We have an extra year with Moeller. So that's pretty solid, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, we need to sign Pionk and Slavin. If we have 12 mil, I'll, I will bring both back. But uh, Pionk's likely getting moved. And uh, Lucas Reichel's likely getting moved. Other than that, team staying the same. Regular season has ended. We're going to be playing the Minnesota Wilds. So it's a good thing we didn't make that trade with them. In terms of points, Kyle Connor with 89. Definitely not a league leader, but Michael Misa. Definitely worth those three, three first-round picks since joining Nashville. Uh, he is above a point a game. Not in every season, but in total, he is above a point a game. Yeah, he's got uh, three extra points in games there down at the bottom, as you see. Uh, doesn't score a lot, but we don't really need him to. He's putting up 20 goals a season. I'm fine with that. So plus 75, 80 pims. That's because of last season. This year he didn't get any. Must have had a bad year last year, or at least an angry one. Uh, Game-winning goals, he's getting better on that front. Five of his 20 goals were game-winning goals. Good for him. Five PP goals. Total power play points, 21. Time on ice. He's playing 20 minutes again. And his faceoff percentage is just below 50, but that will get better over time. Okay, Forsberg, 80 and 82. To bring it was still a point a game. Um, other than that, very good production from the squad. How did Velarde do since joining the squad? So 21 games, 18 points, and you said you weren't playing good. Stop that noise. Domi, 40. Yeah, you're, you're fine. This squad is elite. Reichel, you're getting paid $3 million to put up 30 points, are you? Mail every 10 points. I mean, I've seen crazier. I've definitely seen crazier. Moeller, you're not here for points. Don't you worry. Keep that plus minus going. Uh, Inet Askarov, 30, 13, and 3 with a 9 of 6 and a 285. Blackwood was a better goalie this year, but uh, he faced... Not too many more shots against. Blackwood made eight more saves on a thousand shots. Mm. And he had three more points. Blackwood's an absolute stud. Take a look at the team stats, and we will be out of here. I promise you. 55 wins. That is good for first in the entire league. Uh, goals four. We might have been top, top three. Tied for third. To Boston Bruins, Chicago still had more goals. Uh, sorry, yeah, goals four per game. Um, goals against per game, we were still the lowest, uh, but just barely. So I think Vancouver might have edged us out for the William M. Jennings, but Blackwood might have won it now that I think about it. We'll take a look at that uh, really quick. Blackwood might have just won an award. Just so everyone knows. Yeah, I think he did. There's no way a goalie gets less than 256 with higher than 25 games played. Uh, goals against. Yeah, Blackwood wins the Jennings. Not the Vesna, though, I would say. Yeah, Batcherdam wins the Vesna. Good for them. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be doing our third and hopefully three-peat postseason. Um, I'll see you guys there. I hope you guys have enjoyed. 
and peace.